Malika, I also asked Stephen Curry what the plan was tonight, and he just turned around and looked at me and said, whoop that trick. That <laughs> is our game plan. Oh, My goodness. Ooh. Taking their own catchphrase and putting it back. Thank you so much, Kendra. I really appreciate the time. <laughs>
the Grizzlies did do a lot of celebrating after Game Five, and I, I hopefully it wasn't a celebration of uh, taking a breath and thinking that oh we got a game, so now our mission is complete. No, I think, and I, I want to think that they think that they can win the series now. I mean, they came in thinking they can win the series anyway. But then John Moran got hurt, and that kind of throws things off. But this team has been resilient for the last two years, missing major parts. See, people forget that last year we missed Jaron Jackson almost the whole year, and the team still made the playoffs. This year we missed Dylan Brooks almost the whole year. And for all practical purposes, we had two 25, we have a total of 25 games missed from John Morant this year. So the team has been has found a way for the last two years to overcome injuries and adversity. Can they do it two more times? Can they do it one more time? Can we get a game seven in Memphis? Because I mean, I am real, real, real excited about that. Now, for game six in San Francisco, I am going to try to live stream that, you know, live stream me watching the game. Yeah, I haven't done that before. I haven't live streamed before. So I don't know if it's going to be a mess or what, but you, you might get to see me go nuts during the game uh, real time. So if you like to see me do that and you can watch the game with me as we watch the game together and talk crazy together, comments and all that, man, please subscribe to this channel so you'll be alerted when the live stream goes up. And yeah, we're going to have fun. Friday, got a free day all day and it's going to be fun. Win or lose, this the season, like I said, coming into this series, the season was already a success. Now, for a little bit of news, the Grizzlies did report that John Morant is doing a little bit better from his bone bruise, and they don't think it's going to need any surgery, and he's going to make a full recovery by training camp. So that's good news. Hopefully he'll be able to work through some um, working out this off season, but yeah, we're not ready for the off season yet. Uh, even though next week we got the draft combine and the draft lottery, so I need to get my top 47. I keep trying to get it up, but man, I'm gonna tell you, busy, 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 busy. But we're getting to it. So we got Game Six against one of the most onerous fan bases on the internet. And I'm going to tell you, man, them, these guys are plugged in with the NBA media. So it would make me so happy to beat these guys in, a, in this series, especially without John Morant. <sighs> man. But anyway, I will see you guys Friday. Uh, hopefully you can join my live stream and we can chat, chit chat together. And I will see you guys then. Peace.
balls when I dribble, I shoot. NBA liver do this for a living. Cooking the court like I'm up in the kitchen. Lineups unique, got them slipping and tripping. Lord, show them mercy, cause we come to win it. Get it tuned. I talk hoops. Come with them recaps, I come with that news. All on your last street topic when you choose. Up in your history, up in your views. Ooh, ooh. Entertaining you straight from the screenplay. I talk hoops, always on replay. You know how we do every single game day. Chris Gang, and we hit a stay. Woo! Chris Gang, go hard. Baddest in the game, we'll be on one. So sit your heart up on the court, but we gon' score Memphis, bring it, he straight from Tennessee Tell my respect and let's go, boy